to cook some herrings now, which used to be very prolific around the, the coasts of, of Northern Ireland, especially you know around Port of Ogie. A wee bit scarcer now, but we're lucky to get some. I'm going to do that with some dulse. So this is dulse, this is a seaweed. So, but what I've done is um, I've slightly cooked the dulse, so just um, sort of simmered it with some water. And then we're going to do this into like an apple salad with a wee bit of scallion and parsley. So first thing, the apple. So um, I want to, what I want to do is just um, I slice the apple and then make it into like weed matchsticks, and then that way it can um, we can we can just eat it very easily. And apple and dulse is lovely together. So you've got the lovely sweetness and and the salt contrast. So just um, slice these up then into into little matchsticks. So. So that's just a nice eating apple here as well, so that goes in. And um, herrings, um, really, um, and, and they, would, they would have been salted. And then I, I remember even my dad saying that he remembers people coming around in a cart to sell herrings and they went in a big bucket. And that would have been, you'd have had that all year round. So it's um, something that sort of died out, but uh, you can still get them. And I, I think they're lovely, lovely oily fish. Some scallion into this then, just nice and finely sliced on the scallion. And I'm just going to very lightly dress this with just some vinegar, which will cut through the saltiness of the dulse. So because I cook the dulse, you're taking off a bit of the salt, so and then you're left with something that's um, easier to eat. Um, but we're going to put a wee bit of the dried dulse in as well. So some of the some of this dulse. So we'll just take this and just really just. Shred it quite roughly. There we are. Um, and then see some of the. I'm going to take some of this dulse here, and I'm going to use this as a kind of a seasoning. So it's quite, quite chewy, as you can see. Got a wee good chop up there, and that'll go in, and that'll just sort of season the whole thing. But as parsley, just a small amount, about a teaspoon. That goes in, and then we splash of um, just a splash, a nice splash of uh, the, the cider vinegar, a splash of our rapeseed oil, and then all we'll do is just give that a mix around. So just want to just just to coat everything. So that's just a nice sort of light salad with our with our our apple and our. Our dulse, so the dulse again works really well with apple, and this will work really well with the fish too. And just that nice, the, the apple's sweet, but we've got salty, sweet, salty dulse, and then we've got the this nice sharpness from the the vinegar. So this will all work really well and help cut through the oily fish. So what I've done with the um, herring is just uh, pat it dry, and then we're just going to season it with a wee bit of sea salt just on the skin, and I'm going to cook its skin side down. And again, nice hot pan and a swirl of oil. And just get that really, really hot. So we'll get a nice smoky pan here with for our, our herring. They're so thin, they don't take that long to cook. So it's really, yeah, just really hot. So that's kind of smoking now. So we'll get, so just put it in away from yourself. Press it down a wee bit, it's quite fresh. So. I buy these from a fishmonger in um, St George's Market in, in Belfast and they're from Port of Ogie and they always call it a hern, hern, so it's not herring, it's hern, so I always think of uh, these as that, so it's a wee bit of salt just on the other, other side there. And then just, just because we're going to get a nice bit of colour, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of butter just into the pan as well. Just when you're cooking fish with the skin on it, just gives it a nice, nice wee glow on it. And you can sort of see that cooking up the side there now. And, it's, 
And again, with this fish, you can tell it's oily because the, there's another wee bit of oil has just come out of them, you know, which is a, it's great. You get that lovely smell, sort of iodine smell, nearly like the seaweed. And just uh, press that down a wee bit of it now. Just, just, if you press it down, you get the nice uh, colour in the skin. And a wee look at this one, so it's just another wee bit. And it, another traditional way of eating, of, of eating herring would just been, would have been to fry them actually with bacon or bacon fat and then just just with, with soda bread or wheaten bread and that's, um, I think that's one of those dishes that you could have at any time of the day. I'll just flip those over there now and you get that nice colour on the, I'm not going to cook those too much more and that's, The way to tell is if you just have a wee feel at it and that's it, it's nice and so what I'm going to do is going to turn that off, it will continue to cook and then we'll rest a wee bit as well and then we'll get those plated up. So those are, those are rested nicely there, but see a wee bit of residue heat's coming through. So we we'll just uh, take our salad here, just put the salad down there of the plate here. And then take our herring. Take this little sweet in there. Just any drizzle of our oil then just to the, the top of the herring just there and that's our, our no that needs us actually some wheat and bread but that's our that's our dish there so we've got our lovely herrings actually um, come from Port of Ogie um, on the east, east coast and then we've got our apple we've got our dulse which is from the north coast and a bit of scallion which is from Strangford down on the east coast so it's a good old mix lovely lovely dish so you've got nice oily fish and you've got sharp apple, nice salty dulse and a bit of scallion.